Hello, I'm Ed Veer and I'm going to read you my book, How to Be a Lion. The world is full of ideas. Big ones, small ones, good ones, bad ones. Some think this, others think that. Some say there's only one way to be a lion. They say lions are fierce. If they catch you, they will chomp you. Crunch, crunch, chomp. They say a lion can't be gentle. Well, they haven't met Leonard. Leonard loves to walk by himself, feeling the sun warm his back and the grass under his paws. Some days, Leonard walks to his thinking hill. Sometimes he thinks important thoughts, sometimes he daydreams. Somewhere in between, he hums quietly and plays with words, putting them together this way, then that way, making them into poems. Some say, wait, lions are not gentle. Lions do not write poems. And if a lion met a duck, bad luck for that duck. Crunch, crunch, chomp. But if Leonard met a duck, what do you think would happen? Hello, said Leonard. I'm Leonard. Hello, said the duck. I'm Marianne. I'm writing a poem, said Leonard, but I'm stuck. Will you help me? You're in luck, said Marianne. I'm a poetic duck. Together, they played with Leonard's poem until the words came unstuck. Leonard and Marianne found they liked each other. Under the sun, in the long grass, they lay together. And in this picture, they're both reading books. And if you look very carefully, you can see the titles. Leonard is reading a poem by the great Robert Frost called The Road Not Taken. And Marianne is reading a poem by Emily Dickinson called Hope is a Feathered Thing. And if you'd like to, you can find those poems and read them. Leonard and Marianne played. They went for walks and had long meandering conversations, a mixture of quacks and quiet roars. At night, they watched for shooting stars and made wishes if they saw them. Do you think the universe has edges? Quacked Marianne. If it doesn't, said Leonard, Will we fall out? Together, they are happy. They wish for nothing more than this. Some say that a lion should have chomped a duck by now. One day, a pack of fierce lions came prowling around. What's going on here? they growled. Why hasn't this duck been chomped? This duck is Marianne, said Leonard. She's my friend and nobody will chomp her. Hmm. The fierce lions came closer. We heard you're gentle. We heard you make up poems, but not chomping a duck. You've gone too far, the fierce lions growled and roared. There's only one way to be a lion. Leonard, you must be fierce. Must I be fierce, said Leonard. Must I 
change? They're wrong, quacked Marianne, and we will show them why. Leonard and Marianne went to their thinking hill. They thought hard. After a while, Leonard hummed a serious hum. An idea started to form. Marianne quacked a serious quack. The idea grew. They put their words together, like this, like that, building them into a poem that made sense of what they thought. Finally, they were ready. Leonard took a deep breath. I'll say this quietly. I needn't roar to be heard. I can be a friend to a bee or a bird. You said I must change. I must chomp, Marianne. But chomping your friends is a terrible plan. Let nobody say just one way is true. There are so many ways that you can be you. If there must be a must, then this we must try. Why don't you be you, and I will be I? Some say words can't change the world. Leonard says, if they make you think, then maybe they can. Is there just one way to be a lion? I don't think so. Do you? This book is for those who daydream and those who think for themselves.